former NASA employee also revealed that there are 250 million extraterrestrials currently residing on the moon. It sounds quite strange and hard to believe, doesn't it? In our minds, the moon is a desolate natural satellite of the Earth. So how could there be up to 250 million inhabitants living there? These figures may be accurate or inaccurate. We cannot discuss them. But we also cannot ignore the top secret information leaks about the abnormalities surrounding the moon over the past decades provided by famous witnesses. Condemning others without careful investigation is the height of ignorance. And you may be quite shocked by what we have learned about the moon from credible sources. There is a hollow structure inside the moon that we cannot forget, which was written about by Dr. Mikhail Vassin and Alexander Sherbakov, two members of the Soviet Academy of Sciences in the Soviet magazine Sputnik in July 1970. The article, titled, Is the Moon a Creation of Extraterrestrials?, boldly raised many questions about the moon and its formation at a time when no scientist dared ask such questions. Their argument, called the Spaceship Moon Theory, stated that the moon is not a natural satellite of the Earth, but rather a hollowed-out spacecraft created by a super-intelligent life form outside the Earth. They believed that the moon was hollowed out by a superior technology than ours, using gigantic machines to melt the rocks and create hollow structures inside. The molten waste and lava were sprayed onto the lunar surface, creating a metallic outer shell for the spacecraft's body. Somehow, this moon spacecraft was then launched into Earth's orbit. At the time, their argument faced heavy ridicule and criticism. However, nearly half a century later, the scientific community has found their argument more plausible than ever before. Supported by scientific data, scientists have discovered processed metals such as copper, uranium-236, and neptunium-237 on the lunar surface, elements that are never found in nature. For example, uranium-236 is a radioactive nuclear waste byproduct found in spent and recycled uranium, while neptunium-237 is a radioactive metallic element that is only a byproduct of nuclear reactors and plutonium production. Findings from the Lunar Prospector also revealed many unexplored caves beneath the lunar surface, and most of the moon's mass is concentrated on its surface. However, NASA has not publicly released this evidence. The Clementine mission was a joint project between the Ballistic Missile Defense Organization and NASA, officially aimed at mapping water at the lunar poles. But according to Dr. John Mendenhall, the mission director, it had a secret mission of lunar reconnaissance to see if anyone was building bases on the moon. In all the imagery we saw, the most striking thing was a line of pieces, a linear array that stretched for several miles, clearly artificial, he said. As a defense person working in space reconnaissance, I can confirm that we could not have built such structures. It meant someone else was up there. There are many more strange things on the moon that NASA has been hiding, leading many to wonder if there's an extraterrestrial presence and structures on the moon. Perhaps the most shocking is the 34-second censored conversation of Neil Armstrong when he took his famous first steps on the lunar surface on July 20, 1969. Mission Control asked, what's there? Armstrong replied, these babies are gigantic. You wouldn't believe it. I'm telling you, there are other spacecraft out here lined up on the far side of a crater edge. They're watching us. Not only Armstrong, but also his colleague Buzz Aldrin, the second crew member on this historic flight, saw giant vehicles parked near the crater's edge in the Sea of Tranquility, observing them. Of course, the public never heard Armstrong's astonished words as they gazed in awe at the giant alien vehicles parked at the crater's edge. Houston simply censored and classified the information as top secret. Maurice Chatelain, a former NASA communications engineer, also confirmed that the Apollo 11 mission's radio transmissions were censored and not revealed to the public. Colonel Borman, a retired USS Air Force officer who worked at NATO's Supreme Headquarters and the European Commission as an intelligence analyst, revealed that over 40 reels of film and thousands of individual photographs taken during the Apollo Moon Program missions, circling the moon, landing on it, and walking on its surface, were never publicly released due to fears of political and social unrest by authorities. After becoming a hero from his lunar landing flight, 
Armstrong became reclusive and rarely mentioned this historic event, according to his friends and family, simply because he did not want to be caught lying by denying such an important encounter. Many years later, in April 1997, Armstrong made an astonishing revelation. We were warned by NASA before the flight that there were beings from outer space there. I can't go into details, but their spaceships were far superior to ours, gigantic, and their technology was ahead of ours by at least a few millennia. Most recently, Edgar Mitchell, a former CIA pilot, shocked the public by claiming that there are currently 250 million inhabitants residing inside the moon. He described the moon's residents as extraterrestrials, including a species rumored to be the intelligent race that previously visited Earth, abducted humans, and conducted experiments on the human body. He believed they lived under the lunar surface, working in massive laboratories. Mitchell also believed that the inner structures of the moon were hidden by a 3D image or some other superior extraterrestrial technology. Mitchell was an experienced pilot who held over 17 world speed records and possessed every aviation certificate issued by the Federal Aviation Administration. He also carried out numerous missions for NASA and other government agencies. After meeting an Air Force witness who saw a UFO land at Edwards Air Force Base and spotted three small extraterrestrials walking up the ramp, Mitchell presented much evidence of abnormal structures on the lunar surface, which he claimed were not man-made artifacts, but rather cities and technologies created by an extraterrestrial civilization. Do these shocking revelations make you believe that the moon is not as desolate and peaceful as we thought?